All right, it is like 90 something degrees today. I have this old air conditioner right here. It's got a few bit dings in it, but I think the cold's fine. Down here in Louisiana, it's hot, humid. If you remember from the shed videos up there with the radiator, I did a little air conditioning with water. Well, that radiator is a little bit too small for what I'm about to do. So I'm gonna take this and cool that with it. Hopefully, my plans are to take the compressor out, and hook, basically just hook the water hose up to the coil and turn the fan on, just to see what it'll do. Be a good project for an old AC condenser. So let's see if we can cool the shop down with that. All right. All right, well I got the compressor disconnected got the lines folded over i'm gonna save this compressor in case i ever need it um one thing to note about like um heat transfer on these you want to pull the air in through the side and up through the top blowing in there and pushing out it just ain't gonna work that's the same thing on that car radiator i had when i tried to blow through it it just didn't cool the air properly but when i pulled it through it that's when they actually did the, the heat exchange. I guess, let's see. We'll hook the water supply up to here. This is gonna be the drain coming out and we'll take this dryer off of there, that filter dryer. Put the lid back, here's a quick tip. If you don't have a nut driver, chuck your 11 on one up into the drill. You've got about, well, like it says, 11 different bits you can choose from. Sure makes it handy. All right, I'll be back. All right, she's clean. She's gutted out, circulating through some water. Just kind of see what it, what kind of flow it's got. Probably don't even need that much flow. That radiator is like half a gallon a minute, and it just right. You get hot, cold water in, hot water out, cold air out. But if that ain't enough, if you really want to put some hurting on some hot air, you can run that through a coil and some ice or something. And really cool that water down first. The key to this is the bigger the temperature difference between the hot air and the cold coal, the more heat it pulls out. So we're gonna find out. It's gotta be better than nothing. All right, I'll be right back. Well, I got it moved into the shop. Putting a flare on this pipe so when I hook the water hose back on it, it'll stay. The drain line down there. I might either run it outside or just let it go on the ground. This concrete's kind of sloped back a little bit, so it'll drain out pretty good. Another thing about the air conditioning, especially in high humid environments, you're gonna get condensation, sweat on the coals. So think about that, put a pan under it, however you wanna do it. There's holes all through the bottom of that thing, so it's gonna get out. So think about that before you stick it in your shop. All right, I'll be back. All right, we got the cold water coming in through the bottom. No, my bad, the top. Then on the bottom, the return. Got the, what's gonna be the hot water going back out. Water has didn't fit, so a little duct tape never hurt nothing. I ran it up higher than the cool to keep the air out of it. That's where it's gonna come out. Hopefully hot water in a little bit. I'm gonna put the fan on it, wire it up. We'll see what happens. An update on the shop air conditioner. Works pretty good. Got the vent blowing over while I'm working on the lathe. Came out here, it was 104, turned it on for about an hour and went down to 80 degrees. Sitting at about 76 right now with an outside temperature of 90. Doing pretty good. I think I'm gonna mount it up there. Help circulate the air a lot better. Cool down the hot air up there. But. For this size of a shop, feels pretty good. I'll let you know more when I get it. Enjoy.